Hello everyone, my name is NB from Class of Python. In this video, we are going to see some popular HR questions that are being asked in any interview. So without getting late, let's get started. The first question that any interviewer going to ask is introduce yourself. First of all, remember this rule. If the interviewer already called you by name, then you don't need to introduce your name. Okay, you can start with where are you from, which college are you studying, about academic background. You can start with that. If the interviewer doesn't know your name, generally they will know your name. So if he doesn't know, he or she doesn't know your name, then you can start with your name. The second point that you need to consider while introducing yourself is uh, you need to ex explain about the certification that you have done and the technical skills that you have. For suppose I'm having technical skills such as C language, Python, Java, etc. So I, I can uh, I can express those things uh, to the interviewer so that he will have an impression that uh, he knows some technology so we can ask some of the questions on that or otherwise you can uh, mention some of the certifications that you have done like suppose I have done NPTEL certification on Python uh, data structures and algorithms so I, I mentioned that in every interview that I attended in the la in last year so that's one thing that I remember the, that's one thing that you can express to the interviewer about certifications and if you have any presentations uh, any special presentations like, for example uh, I have presented, uh, uh, I mean, an idea for in the event of uh, innovative thoughts and ideas, uh, uh, which uh, conducted by ISRO in World Space Week 2019 uh, at Lux, uh, at LBRC at my college. So that is one of the special thing that I I never forgot to mention in an interview because uh, you are you are participated uh, in an event that is conducted by ISRO. Even it is in at your college, but it is conducted by uh, your college members, but it is conducted conducted under the under the management of ISRO, right? So that is one of the things that you can, uh, those kind of uh, uh, certific uh, presentation certifications, don't forget those. And especially I won first prize, right? In that event. So that makes the impression that uh, the, uh, this boy, uh, this person is uh, is improving and he ha he's willing to participate in events like that, uh, like that and willing to present something to the viewers or uh, uh, willing to present in front of anybody okay so that kind of impression is important for any interview so that is one thing that is another thing that you need to remember make sure you or uh, you mention specific certifications or specific presentations which are very special uh, if you have done lot of presentations lot of uh, certifications then uh, take the best of them uh, let's say uh, if you have certifications uh, more than 10 or so bring the best of those uh, 10 like for suppose a top three or top two, any any two or three certifications are enough. No need to mention all the ten. That will make the interviewer uh, annoyed. So don't uh, push yourself too hard. So mention only the important things. Let's say uh, two or three certifications or one or two presentations. That's enough. And then coming to the internship or industrial visit. Suppose if you have both, you can go with internship. You can skip the uh, industrial visit or you can also uh, say both the things. But if you don't have an industrial, uh, uh, if you don't have industrial visit, that is, there is no problem because you will have internship, right? So if you don't both, if you don't have anything, for suppose if you don't have internship and you have industrial visit, then you can mention that. So you you may uh, uh, you may get some questions on the industrial visit or internship that you express. For suppose I have an, I have done an internship of a four week internship on ethical hacking. So interview may ask some questions on ethical hacking some questions on uh, uh, networking right so uh, this is one case where uh, we get questions so you you are forcing the interviewer to ask questions uh, on the ba on the basis of your knowledge on the resume that you have so you participated participated on internship right so you may get some questions on internship but you are forcing the interviewer to ask some questions on that internship because you are mentioning in that uh, uh, I mean, whatever the introduction that you are saying and next coming to the events that you have participated that you can extracurricular activities. Let's say you you are good at dancing or you're good at uh, singing or you are good at something electrician or something. You can mention all those events that are uh, special, especially when you got a first prize or second prize or even some some kind of prize that you won from that event. You can express those uh, uh, things uh, which are participated by you so the, the, that will give a positive impression that uh, this person is participating in events right so he has uh, no fear uh, in, uh, in uh, pushing himself or herself uh, to the next level so that is why you don't need uh, you should never forget about the events that have uh, that you participated in college or in any fets 
so remember those things and next thing you have to express is hobbies you can go with the what are the hobbies don't go with common hobbies like suppose uh, generally most of the boys uh, will add cooking in their hobbies so I, i prefer not to because if you are really interested in cooking then you can go with otherwise don't please don't because cooking is one of the skills that uh, many boys want to learn but uh many will not practice so that will uh, that will make uh, it's like a false judgment that you are going to express to the interviewer so uh, it's better skip that part uh, go with any some of the skills let's say uh, while choosing hobbies also you make sure that you have some uh, physical activity hobbies and some of the uh, brain activities so let's say uh, my hobbies are let's say uh, playing chess playing badminton and uh, i mean like drawing these are the three things one one mention suppose drawing make sure that i have creativity and then uh badminton that is a physical exercise that right so that is a physical part of a hobby and then playing chess it's a brain activity so these kind of uh, there are three things that are uh, represented by my hobbies right uh, one is creative skills and the one is a uh, physical physical activity that you are going and some uh, some brain activity that that is going right fine and then finally you go with your family background uh, you can exp- uh, you can say about your father his occupation and mother and if you have any brothers or sisters it's up to you uh, if you want to express those things otherwise you can skip uh, skip those things and you can express about your father and mother that's enough so the next question is why should i hire you generally most uh, most interviewers are uh, tend to ask this question because so there are many participants who are, uh, who are giving the interview right so they have to ask this question because because uh, it will explain how confident you are about yourself suppose uh, if the interviewer asks about how, how why should i hire you then you need to think about why should he hire you and why uh, why why the things that uh, the things that you have uh, may may some people will have those things and some may don't have so you need to be careful while explaining answering this question while answering this question let's say we have uh, whenever you got this question you you feel like you are, you feel like you should feel like wonderful because so that is a fantastic question that you need to grab yourself together and you need to explain properly so what are the things that we can say so whenever you uh, you find this kind of question let's say we why do we hire you why why we need to choose you to this company rather than other nine people who are, who attended the interview right so then you can go with the, all always you go with the strengths that you have for suppose you were mentioning some strengths in your resume right so uh, management skills problem solving skills creative skills presentation skills teamwork skills all these things whatever the five things that you are here that are present in your resume you make sure you have a positive impression on the interviewer so you make sure those things should be come uh, uh, those things should be explained in this question answer because uh, it is important to make sure that your strengths should be your uh, uh, why why should he hire you because your strengths are the answers for the for this question so you need to explain yourself for suppose i have a creative skills so how how i can how can i prove i have a creative skills i need to map some of the events that i have participated in the past so that creative skills will be there for suppose i have a present uh, i wrote presentation skills suppose i have presented papers i have presented ppts more than more than 10 or 11 events then i can explain those things like i participated in more than uh, these presentations so, so that i have these presentation skills so you need to map all the skills that you have in your events so whatever the things that you have done those things should be considered while writing these strengths so remember to write strengths as a part of your uh, resume so you need to write uh, at least let's say you need to consider six uh, strengths that you need to write for suppose and in that three intrapersonal skills uh, and three are interpersonal skills so intrapersonal skills are within you okay interpersonal skills are within outside you your life so suppose intrapersonal skills are like something like problem solving skills which is by you own by you there is nothing that uh, that is interfered with it right so which uh, those are within yourself and presentation skills those are your skills and creative skills are also within you those are inter intrapersonal skills whereas interpersonal skills are uh, when you are going to group when you are uh, come working with group let's say team work skills that is a uh, that is a interpersonal skills and another one is management skills management skills is nothing but it's not part of yourself only it's part of a group right so a part of group is willing to work with you so then that skills are important uh, that is management skills is one thing that is an interpersonal skills 
in that way you need to remember it you need to make sure that you have six uh, skills uh, six strengths and those are three interpersonal or and three intrapersonal skills so or otherwise you can go with four uh, four strands uh, two interpersonal two intrapersonal whatever the combination that you like you should make sure that you have both interpersonal skills and as well as intrapersonal skills i mean i don't mean that you just represent those things and you don't say anything about those things so you need to make sure that you have you have participated some events that should map with the skills that you have first of all i have creative skills let's say i i mentioned creative skills you should have at least one creative skill event that you have participated let's say i uh, i participated in drawing competitions in my school that is a creative skill right right that is one of the creative skills that you have so you can mention you can map that drawing drawing is a skill that you have and you participated in the event so that event maps with the creative skills first of all i have a presentation skills so, so i have participated in many presentations so that maps with the presentation skills and problem solving skills i have participated in events such as uh, programming competitions or uh, coding competitions you can say so those are problem solving skills or uh, project exhibition project exhibition is nothing but it's one of the problem solving skill right you need to pro- solve a problem and you exhibit that uh, uh, the project right so that is that maps with the problem solving skills that i have for suppose management skills you have managed an event suppose i managed uh, i conducted an event ideation fest that is an e- one of the event that i have conducted or i conducted presentations i have conducted quizzes these are the things that you do while managing things you need to manage things while doing these things so that maps with the management skill for suppose teamwork team, when it when it comes to teamwork what what do you think you need to say let's say you're playing some cricket or you're playing some something that makes you work together let's say you were con- you created a project with four or five members as a team so that makes the uh, that makes your skill to map the skill with the uh, event that you participated right right so that is the mapping thing that you need to remember so so you need to map each and every skill with some some event that you have uh, uh, conducted or that you have participated so make sure that you're mapping proper event with the proper skill so if the interviewer asks suppose i have these strengths that is why you will hire me so he he may he may ask you about some question like so let's say he may ask about why uh, i mean why you why do uh, how can i believe that you have the presentation skill suppose if he ask about this question so you need to make sure that uh, you can see in my resume sir that i have these events i have participated in these events uh, where i presented some papers presented some projects and all those things map to this presentation skill right so you need to make sure that you are able to answer that question so why why uh, why should i believe you that you have a skill so then you can map those skills with the events that you have participated that is up to uh, that's uh, that's that's how you answer why should i hire you right and the next question is why do you want to join it instead of uh, taking your core side job so this is one of the question most famous question that uh, many non it background students are going to get this question so how do you answer this uh, my general position is uh, you start with something like this so for suppose in the past i have been uh, introduced to some subjects so those subjects are part of C, uh, cs background let's say uh, some coding com- uh, question uh, some coding subjects let's say c language python and java while introduce while introduction to these subjects i realized that while practicing while answering the questions while solving those problems i thought i realized that i am good at those things and so wh- why should i uh, why should why don't i join it so uh, it's it's a field of opportunities about it's it's about opportunity right so even my core side jobs are offering uh, my core side is also offering jobs and whereas it is also offering jobs and uh, which which field that which i choose what field should i choose that is the question right so you you should answer this question and you you make sure that the interview convince you should convince the interviewer that in such a way that he feel that like, okay uh, this guy is real and he is he is considering an it job re, uh, really seriously so he needs to you need to make sure that he he feels that way so Uh, i i am good at uh, these subjects and i i am solving so any any job is 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 helping the problems uh, solving the problems that are faced by society right so why why uh, it's not about the branch that you uh, studied it's about uh, which path you choose to solve society problems right so make sure that 
these problems are uh, solved right so uh, you can choose it or uh, any other things right but you should convince the interviewer that you are choosing it properly that is the main reason here and coming to the next question what are your strengths so what are your strengths your strengths must be the skills that you have mentioned in the resume you will re mention the strengths in your resume right so you definitely you go with the strengths right you go with the strengths whatever that you mention and you explain those things and if you, if the interviewer asks why it is your strengths or uh, why it is your strength why do i believe that is your strength you can prove that with your resume you have participated in some events so based on the events that you participated your strengths should be considered right so you need to map those things and you explain why it is your strength that is it the next and final question is what are your goals so especially you are asked with the goals you need to mention the next five year goal especially okay you need to be clear with the next five year goal you you can say uh, some many people say like this so in the next 5 years i am looking to get a, a challenging role or a, some some position some high position you are saying so then he, the interviewer might think that he he doesn't have any judgment right so he is thinking in a high position but he doesn't know what is that position he doesn't have a clarity about what he is going to achieve so you should have a clear idea about what you are going to achieve in the next 5 years let's say it may be a team leader or a project manager i better choose uh, you better go with the team leader because it is uh, it's pro it's possible to become a team leader in the next 5 years so make sure that uh, it's not about only team leader you you may choose any 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 uh, i mean any role that you want to uh, go with uh, go within the next few years so you you need to convince the interviewer that you are going to get that role so make sure that you convince the interviewer that with the role and how you are going to achieve it so how you are going to achieve it uh, will explain the interview that he is working and he he is thinking to improve himself or herself so so there is no uh, there is uh, no thought of being he is not working as well so it you should convince the interview that's it and that's all for this uh, uh, popular hr questions for today and if you like this video hit that like button and share it with your friends and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing thanks for watching see you in the next one